Happy weekend, oil traders. It is August 13th, Sunday, and it's now 5.13 p.m. And we're about uh, 47 minutes away from the market open over in Asia. And I thought we'd take a look back at the week of July 7th to 11th. Uh, it was basically defined by the range. Uh, we weren't able to get over the lower 50s and we weren't able to get below 48. Um, we did, however, reach a little further lower than we did higher um, than the week past. If I zoom out to the one month, uh, we can see that the range bound that was defined for us last week, which was basically the high of uh, where is it? 50 or 50, almost 50 50. Um, we didn't manage to actually get back as high as that on, uh, on Thursday, but we did get lower than we had previously within that same range bound week um, from the week previous to last. Um, so I would say that it's more likely than not now that we're heading down. Of course, I've been wrong for, uh, well, I've been wrong for a long, long time, but most recently I've been wrong for a week or so. Um, but my expectation is that the reign of the bulls is over. Um, that being said, anything's possible. We could see over 51 to, uh, early next week, or we could be sub 48. I just prefer to put my bets on the sub 48 rather than the 51. Keep in mind that I still do hold a 52 long, so that's hurting me. So I am, you know, at, at least as, as much as anybody can be, I'm impartial. Uh, but I do feel that our momentum, at, the momentum for the bulls is waning and we're going to see a reversal. How much of a reversal? That's your guess is what, you know, is as good as mine. But uh, I've been expecting a revisit of 42 for a long time now. Um, if I zoom out to the three month, you know, this is where we saw the, it's, uh, that would take us back to the mid June is when we saw the 42s and we've been climbing ever since. Um, this is obviously a high point here, the 52 mark, and we're struggling to get past really the 50 mark and the 50, 50, 50, depending on how you look at it. But basically the 50 is looking to be our intermediate ceiling at this point. Um, I think we're gonna go down before we go any higher and I will be relatively aggressive with my selling of the short positions and repurchasing as necessary. Um, it's the one thing that I think I take away from this past two weeks that I could have done better. Um, I was too adamant about my expectations for a more significant decline that I didn't sell my my uh, 49 and a half short. Um, I had several opportunities to do so for a few percent and I didn't because I expected us to go farther than lower than we did. Um, and ultimately we just kind of bounced around there. So if I had sold it, I could have repurchased it, sold it over again, repurchased it, et cetera, et cetera. I finally did sell after the more significant drop on Thursday. Um, now we've uh, retraced back up. If I zoom over to the seven day, we've come back up from that low. I have not repurchased yet simply because we didn't get over the 49 mark. My previous short was the 49 and a half. It was actually 49.55. And uh, I don't think I'm going to wait as much as I did, as long as I did previously. I'm not gonna hold out for that same price again, unless it just happens to be given to me. Um, basically, I'm looking to get back into that short above 49. We'll just see where it lands, for example, at at it around European close or towards end of trading on a particular day. We'll see where we land if we do keep going up. Like I said, I think the momentum for the bulls is waning. So I think the reversal is, uh, is due, uh, but we shall see. Uh, yeah, so basically my lesson takeaway from this past week or two weeks is to stick to my original rules and to sell when the profit's being offered and not hold out simply because I believe in something because honestly what I believe doesn't matter. Uh, the market's going to do what the market's going to do and the most important thing I can do is um, follow my rules. And my rule is that 
If I'm being offered, you know, greater than 2% on a position, I take it. Uh, sometimes it's it hurts a little bit when you see that that 2% could have been 4% or 6% had I waited a bit longer. Um, but more often than not, that 2% compounded a couple times over is that same 6%. So it really just depends on how you play it. And uh, I played it wrong this past week or two weeks. So that's my takeaway. Um, I'd, like to, I'd love to hear how you guys uh, saw the week out and what your expectations are for the week ahead. You can hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on the tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, and charts. And uh, until then, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow at 9.30 or before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, cheers.